Hey everybody, Jim here, bringing you round four of Where Are the All-Stars, a Malifaux Vassal World Series event. With me today is my opponent, Tylan. Tylan, how you doing? I'm existing in abject error. <laughs> That's a place to be, I guess. Um, we have an exciting where matchup. I love to live. <laughs> yeah. Um, speaking of abject terror, we have Nakima Broodmother up against Ulix Pork Belly Protector today. It's going to be interesting. The pools and the crews are going to be in the description. Uh, I am the attacker, and we're about to get started. I'm going to go ahead and draw my hand. Boop. And I'm going to just check a thing. Okay, that's a thing that has been checked. Uh, we both have nine models, which is pretty cool, so no one gets past tokens yet. As attacker, I would opt to stone for cards. It is turn one. I am still going to stone for cards, I think. And I'm going to discard that and discard that. Would you like to stone for cards? No. Okay. With that, I think it's time for initiative. Best of luck to you. Best of luck to you. And we start the timer now. Yeah. Blip. I have a 10. Um, you may keep that 10. I will not cheat. Perfect. You may go first. Oh, I'm fun. I will activate my noxious Nephilim, who I have lovingly called Stinky. Mm -hmm. Stinky's going to start this whole hullabaloo by regurgitating a corpse. And he's going to put that right here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take his whole two damage. That is going to trigger his memories of blood. Mm -hmm. So let's so within four. Uh, let's make it Nekima. Nekima, whatever I feel like calling it that day. Mm -hmm. She's going to take one. And then I discard a card. Boop. And I'm going to draw one. Okay. Next up, he is going to use Ring It on my Black Blood Shaman, referred to as Traitor. Mm -hmm. yeah. Seven for this go off, if I'm correct. Sounds about right. Oof. That is absolutely not a seven. Um, we will cheat that up to this number. And then, trade your move. One. In. Nice little base contact. And stab Stinky, who will roll the light. Mm hmm. The Black Joker. Stinky is defense four, so luckily that still hits. Mm -hmm. All right. Now we're gonna flip. Double negative, so that is three cards. It's a week of one. Don't forget, Noxious Nephilim is hard to wound, so you get another card there. I do get another card. You are correct. There we go. And you ended that charge yep. on top of the corpse. Did you want to Ancient Ritual? I do indeed want to Ancient Ritual. Okay. So we are going to remove that immediately. 
And we are going to have Nekama take that one more time because she wouldn't be a good broodmother if she wasn't willing to get hurt for her children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we are going to take that one. Toss out this, and we're going to pick up this. And then, if I'm correct, my Noxious has one more action, which he will use Last Memory himself. Okay. We're going to take one damage. Card and Crap Card. I'm correct. No, wait, that was. It's okay. It's okay. I got this. I know what I'm gonna do. But I have to remember to give people I wanted them to have. Mm -hmm. Including you with the focus, except for the who gets to grow. Or dude. Dude mm -hmm. gets to grow. Mm hmm. And that will be Stinky, who I forgot to move forward. But I've drawn my cards, and I am ready to deal with the consequences. It's turn one. I think you have ways to uh, get that first lodestone. Um, okay, we're going to start, and we're going to do something fun. I'm going to activate the Squealer. The Squealer is going to declare a charge. I'm going to end in base contact with both Swinekurst, and I'm going to Stampede. Now, I take a damage. Boop. And both Swinekurst take a damage. This procs Hard Knock Life, so they each gain fast, and each gain a Glowy. I'm going to do that again, because I am Frenzied Charge. Squealers ignore the once per activation limit on charges. Boop. Boop. Giving him second glowy. I'll go reckless, taking a damage, and then I will stampede one more time for another a third glowy each. At the end of the squealer's activation, it ends within two inches within eight inches of bow peep. So I heal two, because I damaged two other models. Back to you. Cool beans. I'm going to I'm gonna activate my blood hunter. He is going to vomit up the corpse, taking two damage. Mm -hmm. And putting it right there. Wow. There you go. Mm -hmm. He is going to focus. And then he is... Okay. It's going to move just a little bit, but not charging. Mm -hmm. And be in base right there. And that's going to be my blood under nacho. Sure. Okay. I'm going to activate. Bo P. Bo Peep is going to do her bonus action. This is, let me find it, an app bonus action. She's going to do the races on, requiring a seven. Yeah, gets it. 
I will be declaring full contact, so I get plus two movement from Bo Peep. Anyone she moves through suffers a point of damage. Everyone around her moves three. She pushes three. She pushes five. First, I'm going to push the squealer. One, two, three. I ignore the severe because of the aromanthian boar. Bo Peep is going to go one, two, three, four, five. She's going to ping the swine cursed. They each get another glowy. The swine cursed are going to go one, two, three. One, two, three. The boar is going to go one. Oop. Let me undo the wiggling of the arrows there. Okay. So we're going to go one, two, three. And then Penelope was in range, so she's going to go one, two, three. to there. Bo Peep is then going to declare a charge. She's going to go nowhere. She's going to... Mm, am I going to do that? Nah. We're going to concentrate and we'll go reckless and then for our last action we're going to interact and drop a scheme marker right here. Um, also, oops, sorry. Undo those movements. Do, New York, do, perfectly fine. Um, so drop that marker. Concentrated. At the end of her activation, she damaged at least two other models, so she heals two, but it goes to full. She's done. And actually, cool, yeah. what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, yeah, pass to you. Okay. Excuse me. I'm going to be activating the brood mother. Who is going to region two? Mm -hmm. And then she. First things first, she's going to attempt a dark bargain, targeting. Uh, targeting Stinky, who mm -hmm. she can see, if I'm correct, with that line. Stinky? Uh, she is tall enough to see Stinky, yes. You can see over Trader. I can see over Trader. I forgot Trader was the fourth little guy. Mm -hmm. okay. Flip. We get it handily. So he is going to take damage. Can interact to drop a scheme. Do. But the more important part of that is going to be activating his last memories, mm -hmm. which is going to let me damage a traitor. Boop. And then I'm going to toss a card and draw a card. And now we do fun things. Mm hmm. First things first, we are going to do blood has been spilled, need a five. We are going to be declaring the ram trigger. Mm -hmm. Every time. There you go. Every time I declare a trigger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just a <laughs> Um. We are going to be dropping that fancy little corpse right here, where all my wonderful little guys can ignore it. Mm -hmm. Actually, 
do that smarter. Yeah, we can do that smarter. We're going to drop it. Right there. For fun sake. One more time with, or we're not going to forget our little terror top. Mm -hmm. They are not right. mindless, so I will gain a pass token. You would indeed. Is right there. And face contact, enjoy life, and breathing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Next up. I had so much fun doing that. We're going to do it again. So I need five. Don't get it. Sad days. But we will cheat in this six to get it. Makes sense. So, one more time with Gusto, we're going to be dropping a quartz marker. Right. Right there that time. Mm -hmm. And... Last but not least, we are going to use only the strong survive. <clears throat> Sorry. Only strong survive. We are going to spend a stone for the mask. Need a four. Mm -hmm. That's not a four. We will shoot that in to pass. And everyone healed this way will get to move three inches, ignoring terrain. Cool. Heal two. Heal two. Heal one. Ignoring other models and terrain. Excuse my French. Mm, I made a mistake, but I'll live with it. So, we're going to pretend like you went that way, look back a bit. To get you in contact with that. Maybe move one, two, three. And we don't want you base, so we'll move you right there. And I don't believe anyone else note, aside from Blood Hunter, was damaged because I forgot to spread it around like a kind of person. So one two, three, we can do that when you're not, one, two, three, hmm. you can yeah, yeah, you got it there, yeah. okay, and that will be the rude mother. Nice. We are going to remember we've activated Boop Peep. So bip that. We're going to go with our slop hauler now. Slop hauler is going to take a walk, and he is a, not a, he's not so good with the trees, but he is going to go. One, two, three, four, five into the woods. And then he is going to feed the piggies. Needing a four. He gets it. Every model in range heals one. Friendly pigs in range heal one, two, three. So currently there are three pigs in range. I'll go ahead and flip them as such. Swine curse the first. He owes four. Swine curse the second. He owes one. Bit disparity there. And then the squealer. He owes two. Doot, doot. 
for his last trick, the slop hauler is going to go, here, pig, and uh, summon a piglet, attempt to summon a piglet in base contact with this scheme marker. I need a six of rams. That is not a six of rams. That is a seven of rams. Piglets are mindless. And he's going to come in right there and then remove the scheme marker. Boop. That is my slop hauler done. Okay. We are going to politely and kindly activate Is a loving and kind older brother. Mm -hmm. So immediately we're going to attempt to fly with me. And we're. You know what? No. No, no, no. I got this. I know what's going on. Mm. I, I understand how things work in this world. Okay. How do they work? Oh, God. You called me on my bluff, man. And instead of doing that objectively quite possible smart thing, we are going to activate dude who is within two of that course marker. Mm -hmm. Dude is Teratot 1 and the app for purposes of things. Is so Grim Feast, we're going to remove this corpse and a flip to heal. Mm -hmm. We would have healed too if we needed to. And we are going to grow into something big and dangerous, hopefully. Mm -hmm. We are going to grow into... Lilitu, the epitome of danger. Yes. Dude. And now that we are that, and we have used the bonus action to change you. Change you on. For totally innocuous and innocent reasons, Lee Two is going to walk one, two, three, four, five, five, and then she is going to focus. Okay. And. She only has four wounds, correct? From the she grow effect? Yes. My apologies. Uh, 
me just see. No, they come on with four. Ah, but I think because of... After this model kills a model or higher cost order removes a corpse marker, gains a grow token. After gaining grow token, this model may discard two grow tokens after resolving the current action. Okay, that was where I was double checking if you did it before the action resolved. So. Yes. Okay. Sadly, I do. Mm -hmm. I have begged Weird to change that, but they said that would be unfair. Uh, I mean, they're probably not wrong. <laughs> so, with that said. Um, I am going to activate Penelope. Penelope, the good dog she is, is going to herd him on my Swinecursed, who's going to relent. Because Swinecursed is a pig, I get a mask ba baked in. I need a 7. Hey, it goes off. I'll declare reposition. The Swinecursed takes an action of my choice. He's going to take the concentrate action. Then I'm going to reposition... Uh, one, two, three, to there. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the Aramanthian boar, who's going to relent. Also bakes in the mask. Gets it. Aramanthian boar is going to take the germinate action. This requires a six to go off. Yeah. And couldn't hit all my TNs forever. There we go. I create a... And it is create uh, underbrush marker within six. Cannot be within two of another underbrush marker. So I am going to place it right here. Okay. And Penelope has another reposition. I think her aura is six inches for bonus movement. you go there so all my pigs are still in range penelope's done that dog mm -hmm. is a good girl but i don't appreciate it i understand So who do you think you're going to activate next? Uh-oh, did I lose you? We're going to pause recording, folks. And we're back. And who would you like to activate? Uh, I will be activating the trader. Alrighty. Yeah. Trader's going to start by moving here. Let me do this in a way where I will not get confused and start crying. Do, do, do. I'm going to move you here. And from there, Trader is going to do a kind thing to regain the love of his kinsmen. And Ancient Ritual right there, removing that corpse. Mm-hmm. And getting everyone within two inches. So, like Oprah, you get a focus. Mm -hmm. You get a grow. You get a focus, and you get a focus. Very and nice. Thank you. And bonus action... We will attempt to fly with me, targeting Dudette. 
Five. Get it. Get it happily. If you need me to turn anything down or go, please just let me know and I will do my best. No, you are fine. Gonna go right there and just get you a little bit of movement right there. Mm -hmm. Not put you on top of it. And we'll get rid of you. And that'll be Traitor. Very good. I like that. I like using that using a, a single shaman in that way. Your unpack so far is giving me a lot to think about. Good, because I have put exactly two seconds of thought into every action before I do it and immediately regret them all. Excellent. We're going to activate the Aramanthian boar. The Aramanthian boar is going to germinate. Again, <laughs> and we do in fact make some plants, and I'm going to put this one. I'm gonna put this one over here. Is that what I'm gonna do? Now nah, I'm gonna put it over here, uh, closer to, so just outside of two of each other. And then I'm going to concentrate. And that is what the boar is going to do. Fair and reasonable. I'm going to activate Dudette. Mm -hmm. Dudette is going to grim feast it up. Moving that corpse. We're going to flip. We're going to heal for nothing. Mm hmm. And then we are going to get ourselves yeah okay I live for bad ideas mm -hmm. we're gonna get ourselves a nice and fun lead to out of the deal all right uh, Lilu or Lilitu Lilu I know how words work. It's all good. If I was smart, I would have had the name switched. Eh, it's okay. <laughs> but they are both strong, independent Nephilim who don't need anything like gender norms or whatnot. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. For you. Next up, we are going to focus. That's going to be a problem. And then we are going to attempt masochistic thoughts. Need a five. Get it. And every friendly within. Six inches after they end their activation can take one damage as if it was from an action. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that'll be do that. Uh... Okay, so just to recap from my sanity, your your third tot, your nef your mature, your blood wretch, and your young nephilim are what is remaining. Okay. Nephilim, Blood Wretch, Mature, and my new top, who I forgot to add in. Here we go. Yeah, so we're going to activate... Oh, that, that reminds me. I should add my little piggy. Piglet. I think I will activate the second Swine Cursed, who is going to drop a Scheme Marker here. He's going to walk... One, two, three, to there, and concentrate, and is done. Super exciting, I know.
I'm going to activate my young Nephilim, who I have named a youngster. Mm-hmm. He's going to attempt to fly with me, targeting nothing in particular. Mm-hmm. Gets it. Mm-hmm. And we are going to end up. Uh, Right here, just about. Mm-hmm. And we will move because that is a thing that people do, or Nephilim in this case, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Right there. Or to be slightly more convenient, we'll actually end up right here. Okay. And then we are going to focus again. Makes sense. Okay. I am going to activate my wild boar. And the boar is going to move six. The boar is natively unimpeded. So I'm just going to go do, 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 do. And in base contact and concentrate. And that's the boar. There we go. Wow, boar. You have. You look that one swine cursed. And that's it. A pass token. Indeed. I'm going to activate this Teratot up here. Mm-hmm. It's going to walk. One, two, three, four. And we're going to do four. And then he will focus. We shall name him... Um, original Names. Excellent. We yeah. have... I will have Swine Curse to activate. Uh, the other Swine Curse is going to take a walk. One, two, to there. I'm going to concentrate. I'm going to Frightening Reminder my brother Swine Curse. Needing a five... I do not get it. I am not going to cheat it. And for my last action, I'm going to uh, walk again. Now, I did activate next to Penelope, so I have plus one movement. So go one, two, three, four, five, and six to there. I'm no longer fast. And Swine Cursed is done. Okay. I just have Ulix left. I'm going to activate Big Bro, the mature Nephilim. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's going to attempt a lot of targeting the wretch. It's a uh, six for it to go off. Mm -hmm. Gets it. Four. Right here. And we're going to. Right there. And we're going to put the wrench. There. And base contact. Mm -hmm. Then we will fly here. One. And we will fly here. Your swine cursed have an engagement range of zero. zero. Fair enough. Then 
let me do this right. Mm -hmm. Right there. We can one inch of all of them. Go to view and we will be charging swine cursed number one. Okay. Swine cursed one is going to save their focus. Um, I will be using mine. All right. I'm defense six, so I um, have an 11. Um, I am up to 17 with the shove aside trigger. You sure are. Go ahead. I will not cheat. Okay. Uh, that's a straight flip since it's six to... I mean, 11 to 17. That is correct. I'm just verifying that I don't have any other... Def I do not have hard to, to wound. Go ahead. Okay. So, straight flippity floop. That is a week that we are going to... We're going to cheat in the Red Joker. Okay. To do 6 plus 1, if I'm correct. Uh, sounds correct to me. I'm going to use Infused Body. When this model suffers damage, it may discard any number of glowy tokens to reduce the damage it suffers by an equal amount. So you're doing 7. I will reduce my glowy by 4 and take 3. That is acceptable. I'll be pushing you away from push you away. So we're gonna push you one into that wall. Mm -hmm. And then we are gonna push one, two, or this is them. Mm -hmm. Yep. Push for us. And we will be attacking the other swine cursed. Sure. Focus this time, so flip de foo. Uh, Up to 17 with no trigger. I am at a 15. I will not cheat. Go ahead. Okay. To flip at a negative or a week of three. Takes three. I am going to lower my glowy by two and take one. Okay, that is Big Bro. That is Big Bro. Okay, so how do we want to do this? I have seven inches of movement. If I went here, you'd have concealment unless I moved again to kill your wretch, and so I wouldn't kill your wretch. I could go here, and then I could shoot your mature a couple times uh yes you would bleed on me uh, uh, that's i've accepted the bleeding um but i could do that that would be a thing to do so i'm going to activate ulex and he's going to walk to that location dude he is going to use oh that's four inches that's only one of them okay that's fine he is going to use the law of oh no first he's going to emblazoned that's what he's going to do uh or bacon beeline he's targeting the pig that's engaging big bro i need a four for this to go off yeah i get it Push the target up to its move plus two in any direction, ignoring other models. Enemy models the target moved through in this way suffer two damage. So I'm going to go this way. One, two, three, four, five, just to there. 
Uh, I suffer two. You suffer two, and you gain a burning. And I take a bleed on my swine cursed. Ulix is going to then use the law of meat, and I'm going to stone for a mask. I get the TN. I have the mask. I'll declare her the pack. So law of meat is everyone friendly beasts in range pulse four heal two. Do 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 do. Do everyone's healed, and then the other thing is friendly beasts within range may move up to two. So the swine curse is going to nudge into base contact with you and then move one, and then the rest of it's moved to here. That gives you a second burning. This Swine Cursed is going to go uh, one, two. The boar is going to pop here and then teleport with its um, in thing about underbrush, not underbrush. Um, through the brush, when this model moves into severe terrain, it may immediately place itself anywhere in severe terrain, completely within aura six. So it gets pushed into here, and then it teleports, boop down here, or er, boop here, so that my friend, the swine curse, the second, is in my aura for damage reduction. But I don't have an underbrush there just yet. All right, so all that is a walk, a bonus, a tactical. I have one action remaining, and Ulix is going to use that to take a shot at you with his hunter's bow. Stat 6 versus defense. Uh, the defense 5. Yeah. I have, excuse me, uh, 18 versus defense with the flaming arrows trigger. I'm up to 12. What's that trigger do? Gives you burning and enemy models in pulse 2 of you. But there's no one in pulse 2 of you. And um, no enemies within pulse 2. Uh, uh, damage track? His damage track is 2, 4, 5. You will then have to discard a card or gain adversary beast. Uh, adversary beast oh. is relevant not only because it gives all my models positives to hit you. It goes away at the end of the turn. So... That's not a problem, but Covered in Slop says, after a friendly pig damages an enemy with Adversary Beast, it gains Shielded 1. So, if you don't discard a card, I'll get Shielded 1 after this attack. That was a lot um, of words, I know. Yeah, I won't cheat. Okay, so I'm at 18, you're at, you said, 12? Yes, 12. So that will be a straight flip. Yes, indeed. That's your deck, not mine. Here we go. And have a severe of five damage. Ouchies. Would you like to discard a card? Um, or gain adversary beast? Okay. You are an adversary. Uh, my flaming arrows gives you a third burning, and I gain a shielded because I damaged you. And Ulix is done, and board is yours. I only have one thing I can do at the moment that is activate my wretch. Who is it going to risky maneuver? Take one damage, mm -hmm. gain a focused, and shoot. So he's going to push one, two, three. Then he's going to walk one, two, three, four, five. Six, and because he's small, he can now charge. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Not to be base, he will be one inch away because I'm a little stinker. Mm -hmm. Right there. 
mm-hmm. and he will be using his focus because like one awesome. does. like one does and you're going into I'm... swine cursed number two yes only okay. one inch range all right i am going to spend my focus defensively i think okie doke yeah I have a 12. I'm up to a 17 with no trigger. 12, 17. I will not cheat. You'll be on a straight flip for damage. I will cheat up to an 18. Ooh, shove aside. Yeah, I get shove aside and I think turn that into a double positive. I'm bad at math. Uh, 18 to 12 is a straight to a positive. Cool. So let's flip for damage. There's a moderate at three. Yep. Are you going to cheat that damage? Uh, I will not. Okay. I will lower my glowy by two and take one. We'll shove you... Let's go one, two, or into your leader. Mm-hmm. Right there, just about. Makes sense. And then I will push one, two, three. Mm-hmm. And we'll go a little bit further. Right up in there. And for funsies, we'll attack Bo Peep. Okay. Hi. So, Hi. Hiya? Yes. Ooh. Bo says Sa- no. <laughs> uh, Bo is at a 13. I am up to a mighty 8, and that is where I will stay. Cool. All right. End of the turn. Uh, we resolve conditions. Adversary comes off of Big Bro. Big Bro takes one burning damage because he has burning three. Shield and the burn. Oh, sorry. Uh, Shield comes off of Ulix. Um, and I think that's it um, for conditions. I claim my lodestone. You claim yours. And I think we go into turn two. Indeed, I believe so. Uh, Reshuffle. Reshuffle. Discard that. I'll keep two. Uh, I'll toss that. Ooh, spicy. Well, you do cycle a lot of cards, so that's understandable. Yes. Cycling is my friend. Mm Mm-hmm. Initiative. You, In- you having one pass token. Yes. I am not stoning for cards. Presuming you uh, are not. I shall not. Well then. I'm going to go ahead and say that you win this one. Okay. Understandable. I will choose to activate first then. You have. We've both summoned a model. So I think it's a net zero pass token. Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. It's gonna shock everyone, but I'm gonna activate Ulix. Um and Ulix is going to take a uh turn two. Is going to take a now are they are not hard to kill that is correct. Um, I am going to I talk about it never happening, but I'm going to go ahead and bacon beeline my swine cursor swine cursor size three. How big are war pigs? Size three. I can't grow them into war pigs. No. 
Um, but I can just kill you with it. And when you die from me pushing through you, you are no longer around to bleed on me. So that's nice. So we're going to bacon beeline, targeting Swinekurst the second. And I need a four for this to go off. That is, in fact, a four. Pig will move seven inches because he's a move five boy. And I can go this way, which will clip your wretch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Everyone takes two damage. Big bro is dead. Wretch gains a burning because I um, pushed the... Um, I, yeah, I pushed through him. Cool. That happened. I think I'm going to... You know, I didn't expect to get this far. Um, I don't, I do have trample. I do have stampede. So I'm going to have Ulix look at his hand. Okay. Ulix is going to declare a charge. I'm going to move through Bo Peep. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to end. Basically, I'm going to charge such that I end here. I am not going to bother Attacking. St stampeding. You gain a burning. And then I will attack you with Immolation Tusk. I will lower my burning on you. To get a positive on the duel, because I can. Stat 6 versus defense. Yeah. I have a 12. I'm up to a 7. Mm -hmm. um, I will not cheat. Cool. 12 to a 7 is a straight flip. A uh, negative flip. Hey, you take 4 damage. Um, Hard to kill. I should have stampeded. I feel silly. Um, that's what happens when you don't read your opponent's cards, friends. I'm gonna... Oh, Immolation Tusk you again. Uh, lower your bur burning a second time. For another positive. Do how does a spicy 19 sound? Uh, sounds like it beats my nice little 10. Um, I will not cheat. Okay, 19 to 10 is a straight flip. I will declare shove aside on the off chance of Black Joker. Do not Black Joker. Take three damage. Yeah, that's what I said, actually. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. I am. Th I have one more action. Cause I sh I bonused. I charged, and then I bit a second time. I'm gonna law of meat one last time. Law of meat requires a four to go off. Yeah, and it does. So everyone within pulse four of me, who's a beast, heals two. It's mostly the swine cursed. And Ulix is done. Well, that is not the fastest I've ever lost a mature and another model, but it's up there. <laughs>
I'm going to activate my Noxious. He's going to heal two right off the bat. Mm -hmm. And then he is going to regurgitate, taking two. Scoot that a little bit closer. Taking two. Activating last memories. Targeting. Traitor, who is a dirty traitor. So taking one, I'm to toss that, draw a card. And we're going to move our wonderful five inches because why not? Mm hmm. I can't fly because yes. the lodestone load is down. very heavy. So we're going to move one, two, down the stairs. Three, four, five. And we are going to... size three can i still see original name i want to say yes you are yeah your size three and original name is a size one on a size three building and you're still on the stairs so you have half the you have an extra inch you can see original name easy peasy wonderful then let's bring him on we get that with no triggers mm-hmm so our original name is going to do what everyone likes to do and attack Stinky. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to swim away. Stinky is going to relent. Mm. And we're going to flip our, our four cards. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I have. I do not care for throwing away that many cards that I would have liked to have, but whatever else. These things, they happen. So we will be taking a nice and tidy one damage, which will not trigger it because it is only once per activation. Indeed. And that will be Stinky. Stinky is done. All right. Uh, we're going to go with, I think, uh, I think it makes sense for the bowest of peeps to go. Bo Peep is not in your crew. She's in mine. She's going to races on, needing a seven. She sure gets it. I'll declare full contact once again. So everyone within pulse three of me gets to move three. She gets to move five. We're going to have Ulix go one, two, three. I'm going to have Swine Curse go one, two, three. Penelope is going to go. One, two, three. The piglet is going to go one, two, three. Slop hauler goes one, two, three. Slower because unfortunately he is uh, not a beast. Boar, one, two, three. And bow peep will go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Basically can go there. It pings Piglet and Swine Cursed, which gives Fast and Glowy. And then 
she is going to go reckless and she is going to now she is going to declare a charge and she's going to go one two three four five I think yeah and she's going to attack swine curse the second swine curse the second is going to relent I'm going to build in the hogwash slosh trigger goes off target takes moderate of two hole damage and he gains fast glowy I place him anywhere within my melee range I'm going to place him right there and then he gains fast I covered that and then she's just going to concentrate with her third action at the end of her activation she heals to full because she damaged two friendly models or two other models bow's done Opeep, I swear, is the bane of all of my existences. She's pretty good. We are going to activate Knock a Pig. AKA Blood Hunter, mm -hmm. AKA Notorious PIG. DJ a... Notorious PIG. Though he did lose the pig keyword when in his final print, so. He did. He did. Sad. Mm -hmm. But he can't be a traitor to his life. He's still considered a pig. Yeah. So. He is going to move off that, which is half movement. Mm -hmm. So with the rest, he's two, three, four, five, six, and nope, can't reach anything because that's hard. Mm -hmm. So we will go one, two, three, four, five. Nice and out of the way. And then we are going to offer ourselves up to the gods and regurgitate the corpse. Okay. I think I see what you're trying to do here. And uh, it just might work for you. I think I'm going to activate. Let me see. Can I have Slop Holler go? One, two, three, four. Okay. Yeah. All right. So Slop Holler is going to activate. Presuming you're done with Blood Hunter. Um, yes. Done with Blood Hunter. Uh, so he's going to walk to there. He is going to feed the piggies. He does feed the piggies. And that is pulse three. I have to flip for every pig in the area, so I'm going to flip for swine curse number two. Heals one. Uh, I'm feeling like I want to make that a two just because he's kind of low. Swine curse the first. Heals one. That's fine. Piglet. It is very fine. Aramanthian boar uh, heals one. Is full. Um, Ulex has to flip a card. He burns that. Okay. And then I'm going to try and say here pig. And I'm going to target the corpse marker next to me so that you don't get to eat it with somebody later. Um just kill my guys and not even let me eat the corpses yeah yeah 
Unfortunately, I do not hit the ram. So, Slap Holler is done. Okie doke. Um, oh, the grace and poise of someone. Yeah. With all the grace and mental poise I can muster, let us activate Traitor, my black blood shaman, who's going to heal one. He's going to move. Let's do it. Come up here. Be in face with that. Taking that away. Because who needs corpses? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Everyone within two, which I do not believe is noxious. Original name will get a grow token. With that it's gone, we're going to attempt to climb with a targeting original name. That's uh, super not getting it, so we will. Yeah, we'll cheat in that tape to get it. Luckily, that's not a day. Mm -hmm. So we're going to end up right here, or better yet, right there. His belts. Right about here. Okay. Last activation, we are going to Okay. Having a quick think. If I go one, two, three, Trying to maximize this whole teleport into trees nonsense. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. 
There we go. And then I can continue my push. Five, so to here. Okay, so we're going to activate the Aramanthian Boar. And we're going to ambush. I'm in Concealing Terrain, so I don't have to discard a card. And move up to three. That's the first location. Then I charge. I'm plus one move. I move seven because of Penelope. And when I do, I jump up to here and continue my push such that I end blocking in base contact with Youngster, blocking line of sight to the corpse marker because I'm a size two, you're a size two. Yes. And now I will attack you with my tusks. I'm stat five against you. I am spending my focus. I am also stat five, and I will not be spending my focus. Okay. Are you hard to kill? No, strangely enough. Are you, I'm sorry, you are or are not? Cut out. I'm not. Okay. I am also going to stampede, so I take a damage when I end in base contact I'm with you. Before either of us flip, I will actually be using my focus. Yes. Um, and double checking, Black Blood suffers one damage from an action or trigger. Um, stampede is an ability, so you do not bleed on me for stampeding. Got to keep my wounds where I can, you know? Oh, believe me, you won't have them for long. Hey, yo. Um, so... And actually, is if I'm trying to... No, there's no way I can get there. Okay. Um, positive twist to you or positive twist? Yeah. Yeah. I'm up to a nice on seven to your... 18. On, on. What's your name, track? Uh, my damage track is 2, 4, 5. Uh, I do have the Into Thorns trigger, which makes it 3, 5, 6. Um, currently, my trigger is showing is Lie Down and Nap, where I discard a card, end my activation, and gain Shielded 3. Because pigs. I will shoot up to a 16. A 16? Yes. I will cheat to an 18 with Into Thorns. Uh, are, you're not within two of an underbrush. I will not cheat it into, into, into Thorns. I will... Oops. Um, because I don't want to lie down and nap. I'm going to go to a 17. Uh, not se not that 17. Goodness gracious. This 17. And declare tear off a bite to heal too. So I'll damage you, you'll bleed on me, then I'll heal back to full. That makes sense. Um, straight flip because of focus? Yes. All right. Yeah. That is moderate for four damage. Would you like to cheat that? I would not. All right, you bleed on me, and then I heal too. Uh, from Tear Off a Bite, I have one more action. You have one more focus, is that correct? I do. All right, well, here comes a second swing. Step five, no positives um, from me. I'm presuming you were going to flip with the focus. Yeah. Yes. So I am currently sitting. Um, Ooh, fancy. Me too. You know I've got it. I'm going to cheat to the 18. Uh, I cannot declare into thorns, but I would if I could. Um, do you have okay. a bad joker to cheat? Um, not that I'm willing to. Okay, so three cards. Pick the worst. No black jokers. No black jokers. Two damage. That was my youngster. That is the boar done.
Who's pinging me? All is well. Uh oh. Can you still hear me? Yes, yes. Sorry, I'm just thinking. Okay, no worries. I'm going to activate Nekama. Mm -hmm. First things first, she's going to move. It's too far. There. So, to begin the fun games, we're going to do Own the Strong Survive. Pretty quick. We get it with the Vicious Vitality, which means that a friendly nap and with friendly kids are grow token. Mm -hmm. uh, we shall have original name to get that grow token. You will grow into a mighty young nap below. Mighty young. His name is Young the Mighty now. It has always been that, and anybody who says otherwise is lied to you, good sir. That's horrible. Why would they do that? Why wouldn't they do that? But due to that, they also all gain to, uh, to remember to do that to a few of my triggers. You do. You do. We're going to do that again. And this time we'll be, we will be stoning for the mask, mm -hmm. which I am almost certain I will be getting now that I have a stone for it. I believe Oh, no. oh hey, stone was val valid. Yeah, fun. Let's remember before I forget. Doot. 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 And now everyone gets to move a nice and tight three, ignoring other markers and terrain. So, Young the Mighty will be going. Let's see. And or the. Even the money will be going one. Wow, I wish I could control this thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it can get fiddly yeah. sometimes. Where you will go, you will be moving nice and far. Three. 
You could soon ignore this cliff that you are currently dangling on the edge of. We'll be going two, three. And then last but not least, Stinky is going one, two, and three. Okay. Get rid of all that. So that was a walk and two. Two actions. So who's going to get some dark bargains? We are going to dark bargain. There, do dent. Yeah, that's it. All right. Don't do it. Need a three. Get it. Nice. Dark We're going to interact to drop a scheme marker right here. Ooh, I keep forgetting to do this, but due to birthright. My thing should be dropping scheme markers when they grow within three inches of themselves. Mm, they should, yes. Mm. I need to stop forgetting that. But I'll try and remember too. I, again, I don't know Nakima too as well as some other masters, so. Nah, it's okay. I'll I'll remember. I, I believe in you. I know that somebody does. <laughs> oh. That will be Nekmatula. Cool. We're going to do what's called a silly move. I'm going to activate a Swine Cursed. Swine Cursed 2. I'm going to start with Frightening Reminder on Ulix. Needing a 5. Getting it. I push Ulix 4 inches away from me. One, two, three. Three, two, one. One, two, three, and a bit boom, into there. I'm going to then, because I can see the not your pig, I'm going to heroic intervention into not my pig. Needing a five. I get it and declare I'm no coward. First, push all other friendly models within one inch of the target. So the Aramanthian boar and Ulix five inches away from the target. Then push this model six towards the target, and it may take an attack. I get two shielded because two models are getting moved. Um, the boar is going to push away one inch, eh, or half an inch into terrain, and then teleport because it's been moved into terrain to here. And then continue the push one, two, three, four, and a bit to go there and be nice and safe. Ulix, for his part, is going to go, um, has to go away. So unfortunately, that means I have to go one, two, three, bunk into there. Swine Curse now moves six inches towards you. And since we established those within six, means it's straight line towards you like so. Also, this boar is not there anymore. One, two, three, two, 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 two to there. Free, free attack on you. Stat six versus right. defense. Um, also, I so Ulix ended a move in base contact with you. You're on fire. I end a move. You're on fire again. Swing. I got a ten plus six is sixteen. Up to a mice, mm, nice and mighty eight. Cool. I have oh, nine. 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 Would you like to cheat? Uh, I will not cheat. I will declare tear off a bite. 16 to 9 is a straight flip. And that's moderate 4. There goes the pig. I heal 2 for tear off a bite. Um, I ignore the once per activation limit on charges. I am no longer unimpeded. I am not plus one move. 
I am fast, though. Which means that there's no way I'm actively going to um, hurt or get catch you. So I'm going to be smart and go one, one, two, three, and back up to here and concentrate. And that's me done. Actions sadly have become very limited. Mm -hmm. Walk. One, two, three, four, five. And after that, we are going to attempt lure targeting Nakama. Get it with a trigger we're not going to use. Mm -hmm. And then Nakama is going to move. Four turn, one, two, three, four, five, and she's right there, next to her, one of her beloved children. And then we are going to Statistic Glee. Stinky will take one damage, we will draw a card, activate Stinky's thing, Mm -hmm. So, Nick and I will take one damage. And we're going to draw a, or one damage. We discard a card. Mm -hmm. We draw a card. And okay. So that's that. Um, I think I'm going to go with... Who do you have left? You have... Young Nephilim and Lilu. Okay. So I'm going to activate the Wild Boar. And the Wild Boar is going to... Actually, clone itself. Go... One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. And then half inch. So it's going to go reckless and run to there. And he's done. Oh, he's unimpeded. Never mind. So, yeah. He'll go and he'll end there. You have Penelope, your swine cursed, your squealer, and your piglet. Yes. I mean, you can. They do that. There's going to heal one, do nothing. Do also heal 
We are going to Grim Feast, removing that, flipping a card, that he will gain one Grim Token. Mm -hmm. Not a Grim Token. And we will focus. Okay. Just a little bit. One. Do that. And that's Lilu? Yes, that is Lilu. Okay. I am going to activate the piglet. And the piglet is going to go take a move action. The slop hauler is going to hitch a ride because piglet's a friendly beast. So I'm going to go. Oh, okay. Uh, one, two. Oh, can't go through there. So I'm not going to activate the piglet just yet. I'm going to activate Penelope. That's what I'm going to do. Penelope is going to herd him on the Aramanthian boar, who's going to relent. I need a seven. I don't get it. I will cheat this in to get it and declare reposition. The boar is going to take a move, I think. Yeah. I'm going to take a move, and it's going to go to there, and then teleport like you do to here um, and kind of end its move there. Penelope repositions one, two, three, and then is going to herd him on the swine curse to relents. I get it. Declare reposition. Swine curse is going to move and is going to drag the slop hauler with it. One, two, three, four, five. Slop holler will go right there. Penelope repositions one, two, and three. So Swankers can see Penelope over the um, over the slop holler because Swankers are size three models. Penelope's done. Swanker, Swankers. Uh, Piglet, Squealer, Swankers. Yep. Okay. Activate my young attempt to fly with me. Okay. Six for the So not a six, so we will check the this six. Mm -hmm. We'll end up right there. He just out. Then we are going to enter it to take that off. You mm -hmm. will take that. And with this last action, he's going to go one, one, two, three. Okay. So. I'm going to do a quick think. Okay. You have no one left to activate, is that correct? The board is yours. Okay. 
I think what I'm going to do is activate the squealer. Squealer is going to go is not fast from Penelope, but is unimpeded from the boar. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Go reckless and is going to scream at the young Nephilim with my yeah. projected voice, stat 10 versus willpower. I'm not 10. Mm -hmm. Range 10, stat 5 versus willpower. Uh, I'm up to a 13. I am at a 12. Um, that is going to miss. I am going to activate the piglet. The piglet is going to be plus one move. One, two, three, four, five, six is unimpeded because of boar. I'm going to declare a charge. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it's going to stampede to ping you a damage. Um, Piglet has gore on stat four versus your defense. I have an eight with the bold over trigger. I am up to a 14. Eight to 14. It's going to miss. I will attack you a second time. Yeah. I have an eight. Fourteen. Yes, it is. So that will not happen. I am going to have Swine Cursed activate. I am going to take a walk. One two, three, such that I can charge one, two, three, one, two. Okay, let me undo these micro moves. I keep getting myself into this position. Okay, if I go one, two, three, four, Five to there. And I will declare a charge going one, two, three, ending here. I do not have Stampede on my Swine Gerst. It's just a thing they don't have. And here comes my first attack. And this Swine Curse does have focus, so this Swine Curse will use focus. Stat 6 okay. to your defense. I am up to a 14. And I am at 19. Um, would you What's like that to uh, hmm? tear off a bite to heal two? Damage track, two, I forget. Uh, sorry, their damage track is 245. I will not be cheating. Okay. Um, your total is 14. 12. Oh, no, 14, yes. 14 to 19 is still a straight flip after focus. That'll be moderate of 4. Two, three, four. You bleed on my piglet and on me. And I will bite you. I will heal then. Um, I will then bite you a second time, spending my second focus. I will also be spending my focus. Makes sense. Yeah. I have a nine. I am up to a 14. That's my, my new favorite number, apparently. It is. Um, uh, my favorite, though, is 18. I'm going to cheat up to a 17. Okay, I will declare Onslaught. 
if I black joker this, um, but it is focused, so it's a straight flip. And not black joker, that's four damage. Which will make Trader the ball carrier. And that is the swine cursed done. That is end of turn. End of turn. I will get this claimed. Uh, we both will score the strategy. Um, and shielded falls off my swine cursed. No one else has burning. Do you reveal any strat any schemes? Um, I do not. Neither do I. So, um, I think that's going to be going into turn three. Okay. And we are at about a uh, hour forty five, just as a time check. We shuffle. Air. This is the most I've ever had. My models die. <laughs> Uh, pigs, what can what can you do, right? Um, I, I don't know. I thought I thought my <laughs> nephew fight pigs, but I was wrong. But it's not over yet. It's not over you. yet. There's still plenty of game to be played. I am going to stone for cards this turn. Get rid of that. That. And uh, initiative when you're ready. I am ready when you are. Got a two. A seven. I will not cheat. I will take initiative. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one. I think I still have ten. Yes, yeah, so of ten models. I have five. You have five pass tokens. <laughs> well, <laughs> that is a lot of models I had dying on one turn. It was. That was. That was a brutal turn. I will. I will say. Um, oh, what do you do after that? I mean, nothing ventured, nothing gained. I'll activate Lilu. Mm -hmm. He's going to move. One, or, yeah, with half movement. Mm -hmm. Four. Six. He's going to Grim Feast. Grow up big and strong. I go right there, just about. Be gone. Mm -hmm. Not forget that focus you have. Because I grew, you get a scheme marker. Mm, yes. Anywhere within three inches of ourselves. That entirely within. I do not believe so. No, very few things are anymore. Yeah, but we are going to put a scheme marker 
right there. So that was a action, bonus action. We still have one action. And with that one action, we are going to... I five had worse plans. Charge. You're a piglet. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, no. I, I reserve the right to say I at least got one kill. Yes. <laughs> uh, here. Mm -hmm. Or. Yeah, World's Act, Piglet. Makes um, sense. Um. Because my luck is been atrocious, we'll burn a focus. Mm -hmm. So, whoop. that's that's disheartening. Uh, hold the phone. Let me double check. Yeah, that's disheartening. I'm defense four base, so I have an eleven. I am up to a nine. Wolf. Um. <laughs> yeah. I will cheat. I will cheat up to an 18. You will. With... I will not cheat in response. Okay. Um, I believe that's a double positive because you were up to 11 with my 18 with focus. So single. three gone or single. Yeah, single positive. Okay. That is a severe of six. You have, in fact, killed my pig. I killed one thing. One thing. I drop a corpse, a scream instead of a corpse. Um, okay. Anything else you do? No. And I will declare deathbeds? You will. Um... Philip and I will score. And that is my mature dudette. Very nice. So what we're going to do is I think this is a great opportunity to um, have I do that. Yeah. I am going to activate Ulix, I think. Am I? He's got a seven inch move. Because of Penelope. But I could have Bo Peep go. Yeah. I think I'm going to. Yeah, Bo Peep's going to go. She's going to walk. One, two, three, four, five. She has trample, so she can walk through people. I'm going to. The crowd goes wild, needing a seven. And I will just cheat that in and declare the trigger. So for um, me to go an extra two inches. But first, we're going to do it in the sequence of slop holler goes one, two, three. Uh, Bo is going to go one, two, three, four, five. 
Ulix goes one, two, one, two, three. And Swinekurst is going to go one, two, three. To there. Bo is going to go reckless. And she's going to declare a charge. One, two, three. To just be in charge range of Dudet. Uh, yes, I think just a barely. And I'm going to spend a focus to punch you with my barbed whip. Oh, I will not be spending a focus. Uh, before anything happens, pull up her card. I'm going to build in the trigger hogwash slosh, placing the target, which is going to place you in base in anywhere within two of me, and it's going to give me plus one to my stat. You are at, you are not at half your max health, so I don't get another positive. Two two cards, pick the best. Stat six versus defense. Yeah. Oof. I have an eight. I got to a six. I will. This does two two three damage. You get to place me anywhere within two. Mm -hmm. I will. What do you say you were? I am at an eight. I'll cheat up to a ten. Cool. I cannot cheat because of your combat finesse. So, Bob is done. I'm going to activate my noxious nephilim. Mm -hmm. Why and end up right here next to his favorite buddy. We're going to attack. Ooh, I'm making mistakes. But we're going to attack Bo Peep. Okay. Dark focus. Bo is at a nine. We are up to a 16 with no triggers. Would I... you like to cheat? Nah, I'm oh. good. You'll be on a positive because you spent focus. I uh, will be, which is not cheap. Uh -huh. I mean, why? Okay, yeah, no, nope, I'll be on a positive. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to push it. That is four. I'm going to cheat to get up to a six. I will stone to prevent. I prevent two. I take four. Do, 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 do. That was one action, if I'm correct. To charge. Then we're going to regurgitate or drop it right here mm -hmm. gonna take two and we're going to use memories of blood to make it do that take one we're going to toss a card and draw a card and that one goes one to your swine curse yep put him down to seven and then we are going to attack Bo Peep again with our action. I'll spend my focus. I have no focus to spend. Yeah. I have a 15. 
I am also up to 15. Would you like to cheat? Nope. Um, I will take that with the tear up a bite. Makes sense. So, a lot of negatives. That'll do three. I'll spend my last stone to prevent. Three. I take none. But I do heal too. You do heal too. That is a true statement. Yeah. All right. Good job, Noxie. Yeah. Goodness gracious. Yeah. Well, usually, I just use it till so use it for card draw until someone kills it. Mm -hmm. um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the Aramanthian Boar activate, and it's going to declare a charge. One, two, and basically teleport to here, and go and bonk into Dudette. And I'm going to stampede Dudette. Oh, okay. And then I'm going to swing with my stat 5 versus defense. I will not use focus. All right, I have a 17. I'm up to a 14. Cool. No, 13, actually. Um, your damage track and trigger. Uh, I have into thorns, so currently it would be um, 3, 5, 6 damage. Also, you have burning because I ended a move in base contact with you and I am a pig. I will cheat up to an 18. An 18. Okay. I will then... Oh, hmm? No, no. Keep going. Sorry. Okay. So that attack fails. I will attack you a second time. This time I'm really focused. Okay. I have an 8. There, I have a 9. Okay, that will miss. The boar is done. Sure. I have it. Hmm. Combat finesse is really good against pigs. Yeah, I should have brought another mature. Well, living learn. Mm -hmm. Do anything. We will activate Nekama and move her here. Mm -hmm. Sorry, before we move her. We're doing an attempt. Blood has been spilled. Mm -hmm. It's not a gun, so I do not believe I need line of sight to the area I want to throw it. Correct. Uh, you, so, well, no, you do need line of sight when you drop markers. You, Unless it specifies otherwise. It does not. So we will... Indeed, move here. Mm -hmm. Then we. Oh, has been spilled. Has blood been spilled? Um. We're not going to stone for the thing yet. Okay. Hmm, that's a failure.
We're going to let that fail. One second. Pause in the recording, and we're back. And I'm going to resume the clock. I just realized that our time's a little off because I hadn't paused the clock the first time we took a break. But in any event, uh, Nakima had just walked down and had just failed to flip her um, action. So six that failed. And despite being a, and I cannot say this enough, massive lady, she does fit down there. Mm -hmm. So we are going to charge and attack that squealer. Not the squealer. Using our focus, yes. I want it to be true to its name and squeal. Um, well, it's got an 11 for defense. Is that a true statement? Let's take a look. That is a true statement. And you have... Oh, no! Those jokers. Um, I failed my duel, so I can use cool teaching since it's an aura. Mm -hmm. Did I heal at the beginning of my activation? I think you were at full. If not, you okay. should have been. And we'll take one. And splash black blood. To the squealer and your boar. Squealer takes it. Boar takes it. And then I will use... My action... Or bonus action. Yep, I'm gonna use my bonus action. Need a three for it to go off. Mm -hmm. You're targeting a dude at off or four. So it's gonna take a point of damage. Flashing even more of a fun round. And is going to draw a scheme marker. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Even though he's engaged, because that's what you do. That's what you do when you're the mom. Mm -hmm. You kids do what you say, even if they're fighting for their lives. That's true. That's just facts. It is. It is just facts. Okay. I've never, I've never regretted not putting Ancient Pact on Nekama before, mm -hmm. but in this moment, in this I do. Moment. All right. Um, let's see. I've gone with Bo Peep. You've gone with. I've gone with Bo Peep and the Boar. Um, I. Have I gone with the uh, Swine Cursed? Or was that last turn? I feel like that was last turn. You have not gone with the Swine Curse all up in their face yet. Okay. That is relevant. It is very relevant. Um, but you have Traitor and Dude, Dude left. And that's it? I do. Yes. Because you're holding those pass tokens. That's right. Um, if I go... Perfect. I think it might be Ulix time. And Ulix is going to declare a charge. He is within six of Penelope, so he's plus one move. He's within six of the boar, so he is unimpeded. He's size four, so he can see everybody. And he's trampled, so he can move through Bo Peep. One, two, three, four, five, six and bump into you 
you gain burning, he stampedes, you take a damage, you bleed on you do not bleed on him because we've covered this before. Immolation Tusk. I'm gonna remove your burning for a positive on the attack flip here. Okay, nope. I have oh goodness, uh nineteen with no trigger. I am up to a nice and tidy seven. Would you like to cheat? I will. You said you're up to a 19. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'll cheat up to a 17. Okay. 17 to 19 is a negative twist to damage. I do not have focus. And Immolation Tusk's thing is only on the duel. So negative twist. Please take three damage. Yep. All right, uh, you bleed on me. Woo. Yep. I am then going to take. I can take gun actions while engaged. I'm within an inch of you. I'm going to hunter's bow you. So I'm going to shoot you with my gun. Stat six first defense. Still traitor. Still attacking traitor? Uh, I'm sorry, yes. A still attacking traitor. And I have a 16. Up to an 11. I will not cheat. Okay. So this is going to 16 to 11 is a negative twist. Please take moderate four and discard a card or gain adversary beast. You, I don't think, care. Um, I am going to... With my last action, take a shot at Dudet. I'm going to be on a negative here because... From the fire? Um, I ignore friendly fire, but I am drawing line of sight through concealing. Mm. And I do not okay. ignore concealing. So, is that does that make sense? It does make sense. But does it make sense to do that action? It does not. Instead, I am going to law of meat needing a four. Uh, maybe it would have made sense. Um, everyone, every beast within pulse four of me is going to heal two. And beasts within pulse four of me are Bo Peep, Swine Boy. And I will bonus action um, the Swine Cursed. This is going to be needing a four with bacon beeline that is not a four but that is a four so the swine curse will go one two three and basically be on the other side engaging these two friends um because i went through them they both take two damage do 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 i take two black blood pings i think um only one I oh. think he does not have blood, blood. Oh, but that is true. Those have memories of blood, and, which I will not be using. And they both gain burning because a pig walked through them or moved through them. Ulix is done. His actions damage three separate models, so he heals two from Bo Peep. None of them have adversary beasts, so he does not have uh, shielded. Well, you have a squealer, a wild boar, both your swine curtis, and your slop hauler. And Penelope. And Penelope. Can't forget Penelope. Um. Uh. 
I'm going to use a pass token. That makes sense. I am going to activate the Swine Cursed, engaging your two models. I am going to swing on Dudette. Fair and reasonable. Oh, no. Oh. It would have been better to... No, it wouldn't have been. I would have hit it for um, That is a 20. I am only up to a 16. Okay, Swine Cursed is going to declare um, tear off a bite, negative twist, not black joker, so that's two damage. <clears throat> and I am also going to reveal deathbeds on the strategy marker. Stinky is currently standing on my marker yes. he is standing on your chamber there we go so i just hid him remove it and then model level on always show okay so escort that heal to heal back to full i'm going to now use Heroic Intervention on to Nakima, needing a five. I get it. I'm going to declare, I'm no coward! I gain two shielded. I push my models five inches away. I'm going to push him to there. And he's just going to go um, teleport up to here with his teleport thingy. The squealer is going to go one, two, three away from Nakima. Swine Cursed is going to go one, two, three doot, into base and take a swing on Nakima. By ending a move in base contact with Nakima, she gains a burning. Stat six for sure defense. I have 15. I also have 15. Would you like to cheat? Um, I will not. Okay. I will declare Onslaught. So I get to take the action again. Double negative because we're tied. Please take moderate four. I will stone to reduce. I won. All right. My shielded goes away. And I will Onslaught attack you. Got a 14. Wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, would you like to cheat? Um, I will cheat up to a 19. I will not hit you. Wowzers. Okay. At the end of my activation, I heal... I'm at full. Okay, okay. Well, to that I say, ouch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm going to use another pass token. That makes sense. I'm going to have a squealer go. The squealer is going to activate within six of Penelope, so it's move six, and go one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and go reckless to concentrate. It's done. I will use another pass token. Okay. I am going to activate Penelope. She's going to obey or herd him on the wild boar who relents goes off with reposition so the wild boar is going to take a walk action one two three four five and six to be just within three of the of the the guy who does the sloppy thing one two two three 
And then I'm going to herd him on the Swine Curse number two, who relents with reposition. And to get it, um, the Swine Curse is going to take a, a walk action, I guess. One, two, three, four, five. And then Penelope goes one, two, three to there. Penelope's done. And you have that last wine cursed and slop hauler and the wild boar. I will use another pass token. We're gonna have the slop hauler activate. I've got Swine Cursed, Penelope, Squealer, and Wild Boar in range. I'm going to feed a da Piggies. I do. Um, I don't have... Let me... Penelope, we went with you. Squealer, I went with you. Where's Slop Holler? We're on you. Don't have the Crow Trigger, which is really bad. Um, I don't want it. Um, Swine Cursed heals one. Penelope heals one by default because not a pig. Squealer heals one. It's fine. Wild boar heals one. That's fine. I'm going to attempt to summon a piglet off of this corpse. I do not. And then I am going to... For fun, concentrate. Okay. Slop holler's done. I will activate Lolitu. Mm -hmm. Now, this dude, gonna walk one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, bonus action sadistically. That corpse. We're gonna get a crow token. Mm -hmm. And then we are going to attempt to lure the swine curse. The one on Nikima? Yes. Okie dokie. I am willpower four. This is a step seven. Uh, I hit either the T in or beat you. Ah, that is dude. All right. Um, that's your board, right? That is. All right. While Boar activates next to Penelope and is stinking fast, so we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven into base contact. Go Reckless and drop a Scheme Marker. We're going to have Last Swine Cursed go. Last Swine Cursed is going to Spoopy Ulix. Um, Spoopy is requiring a 5... That is a five. Ulix pushes four inches away, and I do ignore the severe because the Aramanthian boar. One, two, three, four. I'm going to clip through Stinky to give Stinky a burning. Um, I cannot see, dude. So instead, I'm going to heroic intervention on Stinky. Needing a six. Or I get it. And declare I'm no coward. Ulix pushes five inches away from Stinky. One, two, three, four, five. I push into Stinky because I don't care about terrain because of the boar. One, two, three, four. Bonk to there. You gain a burning because I end a move in base contact with you. I gained a shielded because Ulix was engaging you. 
and I take a free attack against you. And I'll spend my focus on this attack, because why not? Swing. Hey, there you go. Uh, no. 13 to your 17. I will miss. And I'll just go ahead and swing on you a second time. 12. Um, how much do I want this? Not that much. Swine Cursed is done. Um, I think, is that the turn? I think that's the turn. Oh, okay. So end of turn, shielded falls off. Claim this marker. That's a burn. Okay. Uh, score burn. that. Um, do you score your other scheme? I do not. Okay. Um, then clear moved. You have one pass token going into next turn. Going into turn four. Let me catch up on the app. Mm, excuse me. And reshuffle. I'm going to discard that. I'm going to discard that. And I'm going to discard that. I'm going to spend my stone that disheartening Black Joker dismissal. That makes sense. In the stars, I see. Stars? stars? Uh, ask, I see stars and stars. Ask Albus. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry? Uh, dear, let's flip. All right. Yeah. I have a seven. Uh, 13. A 13. Yeah, that one. You sure do. I am not going to cheat. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine models, and you have th three. So six pass tokens. And just as a time check, we're at about two and a half, so. Depending on time, we may this may be final turn. Indeed, indeed. I will go as quick as I can because I know I have a, a a lot of stuff happening. You are perfectly fine. You've been playing this really well. Thank Grr. you. You make me want to play pain because they seem more violent. Surprisingly. <laughs> Uh, um, yeah, pigs, you. pigs are violent. Um, Let's. I think she is just outside of that corpse marker. Mm -hmm. Which is sad days. Stinky, you're not on top. Oh, you are. Yay, Stinky. We'll go ahead and um, change. We can just change the. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Just put Stinky back. Oh wait. Do. I'm. There we go. Confused and scared. There we go. I categorize what you just did as magic, and therefore will be gathering people for a witch hunt. Understandable. Uh, so the trick is, if you right-click a model, you have an option on under level on to pick first, second, or third floor, and those correspond to these little chevron buttons. So, in theory, it uh -huh. lets you have different models on different elevations, but given how few games actually do elevation stuff in for vast from LFO. Um, it doesn't come up. Yeah. Sure. Something. 
All right. So dude has become a mature Nephilim. And you drop a scheme marker? I do. Within three inches. That's drop you right here. Seems good. Let's do our best to make another. We are going to swing at the Swinehurst, engaging Nekama, and we're going to burn our focus. Okay. That's the opposite one. Yeah. Oof, I have a 10. I have a six, no, 17 with the Chef Side Trigger. You do. I will not cheat. Oh, you will not cheat. Mm -hmm. That gives me a positive. It does. Or is that a double positive? Uh, no, because I'm at 10. You're at a 17. So it's a straight flip with focus goes to positive. That is going to be four damage. I will spend a glowy. Uh, to take one fewer. I was at seven, so I take three. And we are going to shove you aside. Yep. Er, why don't you get that wall? One, two, into that wall. Mm -hmm. Do the swoop swoop. And then I can move. And I can push four. I don't think I can push four and do anything particularly useful. So I will push one, two. Mm -hmm. And I will not take my second attack. But I will attack again. Okay. Yeah. I'm up to a 15. I am at a 12. Uh, I will Ooh. not cheat. You'll be on a negative. I will take that negative. Do you have a ram trigger? Feed the young, but nothing to really feed. Oh, my younger dad. Mm -hmm. Hey. Oh. Uh, you have killed six. yep so unstable transformation after this model was killed summon a bayou gremlin into base contact with this model any models within pulse 2 of the summoned model suffer one damage so I'm going to go get my bayou gremlin I have killed the swine cars. and I'll drop him right here and Dude and Nikima both take one damage. And I do drop a corpse. But I'm going to put it over here. Dude. Because it's a summon effect and you've got your pass token. Cool. And that's going to be... Um, dude, that will be dude. Yes. Dude. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Uh, Stinky has a two-inch reach, is that correct? He does. Alrighty. So, what I'm going to do is... Yeah. I'm going to activate Bo Peep. Bo Peep is going to... Take a look at her card. Yeah. Cause. Yeah. She's going to swing on Stinky. Stat five versus your defense. Okay. I have a 14. 
I'm up to the mighty 11. Mighty 11. Would you like to cheat? I have Rampage trigger showing. Sure, that lets you push through me. Push 5, uh, such that I move through you. And if I do, you take a move test or suffer a ping damage. But I don't have to declare it, but I am showing it. Uh, I will not cheat. Okay. Uh, I will not declare the trigger. Negative twist, double negative, because you're hard to wound. Please take two damage. With that two damage, um, things are going to happen. So take two, mm -hmm. uh, triggering the raise of blood. Dude's going to take that. We're going to discard this. Mm -hmm. We're going to draw a card. And that also activates draw into pain with the built-in crow trigger. Mm -hmm. So I get to push four towards you. So I will push one. Bonk. And, yep, bonk. Right in the base contact. Cool. Um, Bo is then going to do her... Um, the race is on, needing a seven. Getting it. This time, I'm going to declare Pork Roast Rodeo. Any beast that ends a move in base contact with a scheme marker must remove that marker and heal one. Uh, so, Sloppy is going to go one, two, three. Squealer is going to go one, two, three. This Swine Cursed is going to go bonk into you. You gain a burning because it's a move. Removes your Scheme Marker and heals one. And Bo Peep is going to go one, two, three. Now that she's not engaged, she's going to go Reckless and then go one, two, three, four, five, six. I think she's base six. And she's not a pig, so she doesn't get the bonus speed from Penelope. At the end of her activation, she damaged one model, so she heals one. Bo Peep is done. Okay, so... Oh, and I reveal Vendetta. Bo Peep on uh, Noxie. Fair. Okay, well... Hmm. Something tells me if I use a pass token, my noxious won't be around to benefit from it. That is quite possible. Oh. Um. Okay, okay, I got this. I got this. I, I understand what's going on. Maybe. Hmm. You know what? Honestly, don't bet. We got this. Okay, Noxious is going to activate. He's going to heal two. Boop, boop. And... After healing a mighty two, we are going to swing at the Swine Cursed mm -hmm. without focus. Swine Cursed is fan six. Yeah. I'm up to a 14. I'm at a 10. I will not cheat. Go ahead. I will. What'd you say you were up to? I am at a 10. Will not cheat. So, adding a nice entire negative flip, we're going to flip it. And do a moderate of 3. Uh, I will take my glowy to reduce it by 1. Okay, come on. Here we go. Take 2. We will regurgitate to drop a corpse blah, blah, right here. Blah, blah. Blah. 
they told me that hiding all those corpses in my throat was a bad idea. But mm-hmm. look who's laughing, Michael. Mm-hmm. Memories of blood. I keep interrupting you, and I feel so bad. No, you're fine. You're fine. Okay, and with that, we are going to attack the swine cursed again. Makes sense. Yeah, I have a 12. You're up to a 16. Yep, not going to cheat. Um, I will cheat in this to get off tear off a bite and remain at a 16. Mm-hmm. And still at a negative blip, so we're going to go boop. Hey, Red Joker. I think that's the first time I've seen it in this game. You'll get a pass token. I will summon a Bayou Gremlin. And is it everyone or just enemies that get the explosion? Let me see here. Um... Enemy models within Pulse 2 of the target suffer one damage. So, base contact. I'm going to go on this side. Just to be out of Felix's way. Uh, Delete. And drop a corpse right there. And so, you take a ping of damage on Stinky. Stinky, you've you done good, Stink. You done good. Mm-hmm. Okay, that'll be Stinky. All right. Um, I think I'll go with Ulix, and I'm gonna charge Stinky. One. Fair, reasonable. I wish you wouldn't. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ending just in base, so you gain a burning. And I'm in the same terrain as you are for purposes of the friendly fire shooting you nonsense. But first, I'm going to sh- um, take the burning off I just gave you for a positive twist on my immolation tusk. Uh, let me just add the thing there. Stat 6 versus your defense. Schwing. And I 18. have 18 with shove aside. Okay. Okay. I will not be. All right. Um, 18 to, you said, another 15. So it's a negative twist. Double neg is hard to wound. Yes. That is going to be week of three. Oh, and uh, Stampede, because I forgot to declare it, um, you'll be at two. I am going to then push you into away from me such that you hit the ley line, and then I will follow you and bump into you, which gives you another burning. I am then going to shoot you with my Hunter's Bell. Stat 6 for sure defense, ignoring the fact that I'm engaged with you and ignoring concealment because I'm in the concealment. Ignoring friendly fire because that's what I do. I'm at 6. 19. Not going to cheat. 19 to 6 is a 13 difference, so it is a positive twist. Goes to straight because of hard to wound. Please take five damage and discard a card or gain adversary. Um, I don't think I'll discard a card. That's reasonable. Oh, hello, little one. When did you get in here? All right, so I've done the burn. I I did a charge. I've done a shot. I have a bonus, and I have law of meat. I do not ignore the number of activations a turn. I can see Nakima, because I am size 4. And here, Mature is not perfectly aligned against me. I'm going to shoot Nakima, who does not have cover or concealment. Stat 6 for sure defense. I, I am at a 11. Mm, I knew it. Wow. Okay. Um, 
How I'm at a six. You're out of six. You're out of stones. So I go to a 16. That puts me at a straight flip for damage. And it does. I'll, I'll declare flaming arrows to give you burning. Here's a damage flip. Five damage. Ooh. And dude's on fire. Okay. Uh, Ulix has his bonus action. He's going to move the Aramethian boar with bacon beeline. You know what? It's going to fail. He's done. Um, we actually do have a bit more than 15 minutes because we didn't pause that one time. But do you want to call the game here or do you want to try it for the next turn? Um, there is only one thing I can possibly do to score one point at the end of this turn. And that would involve attacking your Biden, your Biden gremlin and not killing it somehow. Okay. Um, um, if I start a move outside of engaging and pass through it, do I have to deal with engagement? Yes. Um, you, you can charge if you are not engaged and go through engagement ranges with a charge, but if you enter a engagement range with a walk action at any point, you cannot leave it. Okay. Um, so, I will, the only thing I can imagine to do would be to take my healing from activating, charge, pass your body gremlin, one, two, three, four, five, six, to be safe. And then one, two, or no. Yeah, I love you. I love you. But please, you're stepping on my keyboard. One, two, three, four, five, six. And just be outside. Okay. I am up comfortable with my points i think you would not have a hard time removing my scheme markers so that would not be a death badge for me and, and, you know, i mean i am a humble humble sore loser so i will admit i have invested so you would sorry, um, but so do you want to keep going or no? Uh, no, I'm sorry. Okay, that was that was oh. uh, just just to clarify, um, because <laughs> if you're going there, I do feel that I can send a yeah. Aramethian boar to teleport over and charge into your butt. Um, on yeah. Oh. Um. There is very little I can do to stop anything you're doing with one mature. <laughs> yeah, I don't see your mature lasting to the end of the turn, to be perfect, not to be rude, but to be honest. Um, I, I barely saw it lasting to the end of your next activation. Yeah, uh, Boar gets over here. I'll get four ley lines from Boar. Um I'll be able to next turn drop a marker to get the death beds. Bow's alive. Noxie's not. I'm going to get Vendetta point. And yeah, um, for your schemes, I absolutely am going to be able to eat them with um, Squealer running around and interacting. So what was your other scheme? Um, it was Hidden Martyrs mm -hmm. with Blood Wretch and my young Nephilim, who you killed almost immediately as soon as he was even remotely close to anything. Yeah, he, I, I saw him as an activation that I could probably get activation control with. Um, that was, that was bloody. Okay, um. 
I'm going to yeah. end the game clock here, but holy moly. Um, so, yeah, no. um, <laughs> I'm sorry that it was oh. such a, such a bloody game for, for your side, but, um, I guess let's, let's talk through that. If you, if you have the, the time when you, I have the time. Yes. When, when going into the game, you know, what, when you saw Ulix, you said you hadn't played against him. Is this, so is this crew of yours designed more for the pool or was there something you brought that you were like, this is going to mess up Ulix? It was designed more for the pool. Okay, tell us a bit more about your decision making, if you don't mind. Like, why, oh. why, why did you take the models you took? Okay, I can do that. Um, so to start, I knew nothing about Ulix, so I grabbed my. I grabbed a Noxious to get me some card draw. The Shaman, because it's always good to have a Shaman around, you have Tots around. Mm -hmm. And I was, at first, going to... Mm -hmm. First, I was going to... Focus more on my schemes, and after killing as much of your crew as I could, moving up whoever my ball carrier happened to be at the time to score what strats I could. That makes sense. And I intended for my mature to go in there and be a hot nuisance for at least a couple of your activations. Mm hmm. And the Blood Rich to go in there and waste a activation or two before dying and getting me hit in Martyrs. Mm -hmm. At which point I intended to have another Tot or two on the table to, you know, make up for both of their demises. Mm -hmm. Right, and kind of block me in, because once deployment was set, you know... I imagine you saw that there was this big rock, big rock, big rock. I only had two places to leave here to to get out of my deployment zone. And you shoved your stuff right here. So you really did a good job plugging where I was trying to unpack my crew with those two pieces. Um, yes, I saw that and I wanted really hard to make you have to funnel out the other side. Or deal with my mature. Hmm. I will say, oh. I really, I, I'm I'm really liking how you use Lilu and Lilitu in this list, from someone who is Nephilim adjacent. I, I'm not the Neverborn player in my meta. We uh, add. Shout out to Adam. He's my local Neverborn guy. He hasn't gotten into Nakima yet. But I've never seen people try using the twins. And the amount of card cycling you had really opened my eyes. As soon as you started multiple procs of Lost Memories, I thought, oh, oh, that's really good. How do you get more cards, though? Because, like, from a Bayou perspective, Zip is really good at cycling cards. But if you cheat more than once, you start losing cards in hand. How do you refill? And Zip 2 kind of does that, but the fact you have two twin models who have good for a laugh or just flat out drawing cards, that's getting you back to having actual card draw on top of card cycling. And your wounds, you have so much healing in that crew, like passively, that turn mm -hmm. one, I don't think you had a net loss of wounds, and you drew, like, a whole new hand. Um, yes, that was, um, 
I just saw the twins a while ago, and with Broodmother, I assumed they could be semi-decent, despite what everyone said, because mm -hmm. people will use the Litu for the free lore, because she's a seven-stone model, but mm -hmm. no one ever really cares for Lilu. Mm -hmm. Which I understand, but, I mean, he's decent card draw, he helps splash back blood, and he doesn't die immediately right. when I toss him in. Yeah. And when one heals, the other heals, so that's basically two healing on them per turn. Not counting if I happen to catch them in Nekama's healing blast. Mm -hmm. I've gotten a Lilu from one health all the way back to full in like two activations. Mm -hmm. It. I believe it. Like, they're they're just they're good card they're good at card draw and they can grow into matures as you saw once or twice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I think they're great for those replacement mature models. Like, I'm really enjoying the mental image of having like like the crew that you built making the Lilu Lilu two combo to like turn one you're you're building your engine you're cycling cards and then you dive in late like you did with matures and honestly the my saving grace this game i'm not going to claim that i i'm you know anything other than really really lucky i had a lot of moderate damage flips and i have a decently high moderate damage on most pigs but ulix himself being able to shoot while engaged and ignoring friendly fire that was that was the big saving grace any other keyword any other crew you dive in like you did i probably wouldn't have been able to deal with it in the same turn you know what i mean yeah that okay that makes me feel a little better because my guys just started dropping like flies well and and there's also like the movement shenanigans this crew had with this terrain in particular like the boar i overextended the boar here to kill your young right you had three models that all had really high damage tracks nakima was a walk charge away any other crew that was a trade that would have been a peace trade i would have given you my enforcer to take out your minion but then i had the ability to push it and trigger its teleport ability which no other model in the game has to just yeet itself 12 inches away. Um, so you have the ability to punish those overextensions. And if anything, I would have, in you know, thinking back on differences, I was a little surprised Nakima didn't move forward earlier on turn two just to get that 12-inch aura of... Uh, if you fail, you take a da I, I take a damage and bleed on you anyway. Aura. Because I feel like turn two, you spent a lot of time back here, and that was the time when I... That was when a lot of things were happening. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think you did hit a fair bit. Because, I mean, that's the other thing. I had Swinecursed, who had effectively... 11 wounds no no they're eight wounds base i had given them four glowy so they were 12 wounds swine curse because they had been healed up to full your mature dove in and nearly killed two 12 wound models like that that was a happy moment yeah that that would have been again much worse if i hadn't had the you know, it, I think it ended up being this was a matchup where I happened to luck into things that helped against your te your metrics or your, not metrics your abilities. Um, shooting while engaged, getting shielded to deal with black blood, movement while engaged, that sort of stuff. Um, and even then, like you saw, as soon as you did connect with my crew and were able to hit. Swinecurse went down in a single swing. Swinecurse went down in a double swing. Um, the squealer should not have lived. 
by all accounts, <laughs> Nakima should have killed that squealer. That was that was a hand size problem, or a hand problem. Ah, oh, that <laughs> that was I hurt for you there. I was like, no, no, no. It's, it's perfectly fine. I'm mm-hmm. like, this is still better than that Lucius I had to fight that had three changelings. Changings are oh. pretty darn good. Uh, three changelings before the errata. I still think they're pretty darn good. Oh, yes, they were, but I that was a lot of card draw, and that was a lot of sniping. But, mm-hmm. no, oh, I lost my train of thought. Yeah, that happens. I'm sorry, I was, I was typing loudly, and it makes me lose my train of thought. Um, if you were to do this over... Say, let's say that we had a time machine and we went back to the start. Knowing what you know now, would you change anything about your crew composition? Or would you change anything about the schemes you selected? My crew composition, I would have. Probably found some way to toss in angel eyes. And that probably would have been about it, crew eyes. But in regards to scheme selection, no, I wouldn't change that either. I feel like. Most of what I would change is just my deployment in a couple of places where I grew the wrong thing at the wrong moment. Um, okay. Because, uh, to explain myself, I would have... Uh, how do you do the thing? Right there? Yep. I, I grew a Lilu, but a Lilu to up there in concealing who can lure your pigs out of position would have been great. That would have been a real problem because what is it? Um, Let me grab you. Let's say you're here. Uh, Let's say you're still in the concealing because you don't want to get shot by Ulex. So here you go. There you go. That's a 12 inch... Yeah, as soon as I poke, poke my head out of here, you can just pull me right into here, which is right and at the meat grinder. Mm-hmm. You get Lilu over there with his uh, aura of masochism. And, oh man, masochism plus noxious plus someone to take the damage. Plus cruel teachings from Nekama if one happens to miss. Mm-hmm. So much cards. I mean, at that point, you're just really flowing through those cards um, and just lots of ping damage. And again, I've got, we both have a lot of healing in our crews, but like I have some pretty small pieces. Like if you had gotten that lure on that slap hauler, oh, he is, he is one of the easiest things in the world to kill. Um, so, oh, yes. Um, that's one thing I would have done differently. Um, the only other thing I would have done differently is I probably would have, I would have put the lodestone on a terraton instead of my noxious. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I. The only thing I really need a terror talk to do is to eat a corpse and get to position. So say it started here with a lodestone, it could just trundle up to here, eat a corpse that I have. Or not even that. It can eat a corpse that I have, out ready for it, throw into a young already right there, or better yet. Where are you? Grow into 
another Lilu mm-hmm. right there, and then I can. If you notice my mouse moving erratically, my cat has decided now is the perfect time to come sit in my lap and try to be a human. Oh, absolutely. As cats are wont to do. Of course. If they're not in the way, they're not... I mean, they're just not cats. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But then I'm right there with another lord to drag anything or to drag my eyes out if need be or to drag you in if I can shove you even closer to my area. <laughs> and then... You have to commit a lot of resources to saving it, or I kill a thing. Yeah, and once those start dying, and once he dies, like he's my main source of. Yeah, it's it's good stuff. It is. I really like Broodmother, but I can't. I feel like there's something I'm missing. Mm-hmm. But sorry, we talked a lot about me, and I am. Oof, that is unfair. You did phenomenal this game. Well, I appreciate but... that. Thank you. I, um, I feel that I have. So I've been playing against Ulix two in my meta. One of my locals has been really enjoying him, and we've been having this back and forth conversation about old major. And I think this game really cements for me that I don't think you take Old Major in Ulix 2 most of the time. I think Swinecursed really are the bee's knees. I've been pounding the drum about Wong 1 being a really good master now uh, since his buff. And Swinecursed are part of that. And seeing them here with all of their tricks and how much healing the crew has to make up for the fact that you can really load them with glowy and then just make them be, you know, have health pools that rival masters effectively. It's bananas. And they have, you know, they can have three actions each, four actions if you take uh, the, um, what's it called? Uh, Scaring people into moving four inches away from you action. Frightening reminder. Yeah, and the fact that that synergizes with heroic intervention by you, know, you push someone into the enemy and then charge after them to get yourself shielded for even more effective healing, effective wounds. It's it's a really good I, package. Uh, I, and, and of course, Bo Peep is, I think, has healed 20-odd wounds this game passively on my crew because she remains incredible. I want you to know if I if you had overextended her even once, I I happily would have portrayed a mature to kill her. I I do not doubt that. Frankly, I have had my games with Bo Peep where I've done that, where I've been like, oh, I can go and like kidnap somebody with hogwash slosh, and I do, and then she just boop goes away. Like she needs I- to stay back, and that's why I waited till turn four to try and go for Vendetta because I thought. Bo Peep's speed plus her two inch reach means, you know, that's a nine, it's a eight inch threat. And if you bring Noxious anywhere close to the middle, I can just move tag Noxious when he's low. And boom, there you go. I've got my vendetta. Now, now I just run away, which is what happened. Um, death. That, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, no, that, that was my cat talking. Ah. <laughs> and. Deathbeds, I would I would keep the same schemes. Deathbeds, I think, I was fixing on this because I thought I would have, either when pigs die, they drop schemes, and I'd be fighting around the strategy markers anyway. And if I made piglets, which we saw is exactly what happened here, I made a piglet, I threw it into the meat grinder, it turned into a scheme marker, which enabled me to get de- deathbeds. If it were... Ulix 1, where I build a more pig factory list, I might have gone spread them out, but I really don't think the pig factory lists are efficient enough 
as they are right now. It's just too card intensive and pigs being mindless when they come in is a huge detriment. I really didn't miss the trying to grow with bacon beeline. That's, I think, the big surprise for me. Everyone talks about, oh my gosh, for four of crows, you can turn a, a pig into a war pig. And people want to do this build where they set their own things on fire just to turn a piglet into a war pig and save six stones. And I'm just like, but it's just a bonus action that does two damage and gives burning, which can end up being a third damage at the end of turn. It's or a positive if you charge in. Or a positive, which would be a second which would give you two positives on two separate attacks. So mm -hmm. it's I think it is so much more than just the grow mechanic, but I feel like the grow mechanics dominated the conversation for Ulix. I am um, his gun is amazing. His attacks are amazing. I just the, I, I really felt like he did work this game. He's always, every game I've played with or against him, he's been like a major do work kind of model. But not having to stay babysitting old major, who's like a 10 stone buff, that really did a thing for me. Because I didn't feel like I had to stay here and just shoot for the positive to damage flips i could just go in and if i had negative damage flips i had negative to damage flips it was fine um the aoe pulse heal two on top of bo peeps heal i know i did that at least three turns in a row at least over three turns so that's you know between if i hit t at least two models with that each time i did that that's like between six and twelve wounds that ulix healed while doing damage Anyway, I'm no, rambling, he, and it is getting a no, little no. bit late. So, no, I, I really, do, I really do appreciate it. I, I mm -hmm. am not the best at actually playing, but I love talking like theory and card things with people. Yeah, no, no. you're not a people. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, thank you again for the game, and best of luck in your next event. Um, uh, thank you. Best of luck in your next event. I'm going to be joining the whichever is coming up next month. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I'm. Yeah, I was going to say they have a dual masters. Are there any dual masters you're keen to try? Um. I. I really like Nekama. She was the first master I started with, and uh, I have become ride or die. And because I bleed so much, it's usually die. But <laughs> um, I've been throwing around a few ideas. I don't have a ton of experience with the other masters, but uh, depending on the terrain and whatnot... I was considering possibly Nekama 1 with Sarida pulling in Vasilisa to make more puppets as the one Zoraida summons die, and to have Zoraida bossing around whatever minions I have brought that will grow into young thanks to Nekama either killing things or being a corpse factory with Nekama 2. Mm -hmm. I've considered Ur Pandora Pandora Tyrant Torn with giving my dragging my own stuff through hazardous or giving them staggered in some way, shape, or form and transforming that into fast on mature Giving your sure. fast matures does seem pretty spicy. And, it, you, you know, you could take a, a pair of Wicked Dolls. Because you could I, do the Wicked Doll trick my... for Pandora. And I'm, 
that seems like it would be so much fun for me if no one else. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, it's and... it's a dual master event. I think there's a certain amount of <laughs> if uh, if you're playing in it, you should be allowed to try the fun things because it's going to be bananas. Because other people are going to be trying some crazy combinations too, you know. Yeah, no, I look forward to it. The only other, I've thrown around one or two other ideas, but the only thing I've kind of gotten, the only thing I'm eyeing suspiciously is possibly Nekama and Titania. I don't hate that. I think Titania... Throwing around... Yep, keep talking. My apologies. It's okay. Um, I think Titania 1 has some pretty neat combinations with Nephilim because of Cruel Disappointment. Capping the damage you're taking to moderates from enemies because of Cruel Disappointment means that your passive healing is going to go further, and she herself doesn't really need her crew to function. She can kind of just go in as a super solo. And then... He you're growing and making tots to turn into your scheme runners while you send a mature or two along with Titania in as your kill squad, you know? Yes, and possibly, I mean, you can always throw in a boar to add more underbrush, be hard to kill, and to zip around the board. Mm Mm-hmm, as we saw today, goodness. Yes, I was not consi- I did not realize how strong that board was, despite everyone talking about it. And you know what? I feel like I paid the cost. Well, we all learn oh. sometime. So, uh, with that though, I am going to call it a good night. And okay, uh, uh, take good care. Night. Good night. Take care. Thank-